So sorry about my bed hair today as well, but I came out of the house without brushing it because I wanted to get to the studio and play. It's about priorities, isn't it? So as you can see, I've ordered some new art supplies um, and it's been sent in these two boxes. So this is some paper, which is why it's such a big flat box like that. And then there's all sorts in that. So I'll show you what's in there as well. It kind of looks quite exciting. So can you see inside the box how exciting that looks? Everything's all wrapped packaged so carefully so it looks really exciting and then obviously the um the larger one as well i was running low of certain things and i've also realized i needed some colors of paint and things like that that i didn't already have and then they've sent this big flat box which has got paper in it and then another box as well so done really really well so i thought i'd share my new art supplies in this video and also maybe swatch a few things and have a little go with some of the new stuff. Anyway, I'll turn the camera around and then I can talk to you properly. Hang on a sec. So while I'm really excited to show you what I've bought in my biggest art order I've ever done in my life, so it really does feel like my birthday, but at the same time I wanted to say a little word about expenses. And so art supplies are pretty expensive, obviously depending on what you buy. So I don't want it to be like a kind of, oh look what I've got and everything. I know I'm really lucky and I'm really grateful, but at the same time I appreciate that not everyone can afford art supplies like this right now and in actual fact you know I've had times in my life where I could afford things and times in my life where I really couldn't and one of the things that helps me out is my affiliate link with Jackson's so I don't have an affiliation or a sponsorship with any of these supplies at all but I do have an affiliated link with the actual art shop Jackson's. I think I just wanted to say that if you are using more budget supplies, I have been using budget supplies as well for years and they're absolutely great and keep going with what you've got. I think we've got to use what we have and what's available to us and also what's within our financial reach as well. And obviously the other thing about it is, is it's not how much stuff and what stuff you've got, it's what you do with it as well. So and I think even if you've got a notepad and a pencil, you can still create some beautiful things. And in fact, some of my favorite artworks are just created with a pencil and, a pe and some paper. So you don't need loads of stuff is what I'm trying to say. I guess I just, I'm trying to be sensitive around people's levels of abundance and prosper prosperity. But at the same time, I also want to share and review and give some honest opinions of some of the art supplies in case you are in the market for some buying some new art supplies and you know if I've bought something that's really rubbish I can share that and save you the trouble and save you the money and things like that and then if there's something that's really really good I can also share that with you as well so that's my reasoning behind doing this if you like and you will probably note I've never done one of these before and you won't get them very often because I don't order loads of stuff I do let my patrons know when, I've, when I order a couple of things and let them know how things are going and things like that. And they see that within the painting videos. I'm also an aspiring minimalist, which isn't useful when I'm a mixed media artist, for obvious reasons. But at the same time, I don't like ordering more stuff than I need. I don't like ordering stuff that I don't use. And so I review my art supplies from time to time and then get rid of things and let them go if I'm not using them and things like that. So I like to have the art supplies I need and the quality I need because obviously I'm doing this as my job. So I need a level of quality within the materials, and, you know, archival pigments and things like that. But at the same time, I don't want to have an overwhelming amount of art supplies, if you know what I mean. Which may sound really funny if you've seen my floor over there because there's art supplies everywhere really but if I actually gathered all my paint and my art supplies you'd see how little paint I've actually been managing with for the past few months and yeah some of my colours now are really running out so I had a bit of an emergency shopping sesh. So let's have a look what's in the box then shall we? I will take you to my desk so you can have a proper look. 
have actually opened this. I just haven't unwrapped everything yet. Um, because I wanted to share it with you. Let's have a look. I have to say that they've wrapped everything so, so well. Yeah, they've really wrapped everything super well. I'm obviously going to recycle, reuse all that in my, um, my own shop. And yeah, there we go. So they've taped everything down so it doesn't move. Yeah, so I've got some drawing and painting materials there. And oh, this. In. Okay, I've just ripped all the um, all the tape off now, so hopefully it's not going to be so offensive on the ears. So all I've ordered here to warrant this big box is a large piece of black paper, and it's handmade cotton paper. You can see the lovely edge, the adorable torn edge. I can just show you a bit closer. Look at that. Such a lovely, gorgeous torn edge. And so I thought that would be really quite a nice thing to try with my Flowers in the Moonlight series. So the flowers I do, like, hang on a sec. So the flowers I do with the, um, the dark backgrounds. So that's why I've got that. And I've only ordered one sheet at the moment because I just wanted to try it out and I've gone for my current favorite paper which is the caddy papers so again not sponsored or affiliated in any way but I've been using these I've got two actually so this is a slightly bigger one and I've been using these um, and I absolutely love them so I decided I wanted to have um, another one because if I've got my other two I kind of got something drying um, I'm needing to wait before I can do something else so I thought I really need another one on the side so it's it's cotton paper so it's a little bit more expensive but I think and also these are handmade um, yeah 100% handmade and recycled cotton rag paper so And I've gone for the soft cover ones because I like the soft cover. But again, you can see the lovely edge on the paper, the sort of torn edge as well. So I really like those. I've bought three brushes, three paint brushes were missing from my collection. So the first one I've got is a number six and it's um, Jackson's own make. And there is a link for Jackson's in my description box where it gives you, I think it's 10 or 15% off your first order. And then I get a really small commission as well of what you buy. So it just helps me out and I, add, I build that up and then I go shopping if you like. Um, and anybody that has actually used that link before, thank you so, so much because you've helped facilitate this lovely art haul that we're doing right now. So that's the lovely square brush and it's called a pro krill so I guess pro acrylic I'm guessing <laughs> and I basically bought another couple of angled brushes as well um, one is a quarter of an inch and one's an eighth of an inch so they're quite small you can see there and they're by a company called silver silk and one's called an angular and the other one's called an angle so yeah try those out and then i bought these for my inks which are just um quite budget bamboo dipper pens so i basically got a lovely prezi off one of my patrons and i've been using this glass dipper pen now i've never tried one of these before but the little ridges 
in there holds the ink when you dip it into the ink. And so you can write with these for quite some time without having to keep reloading, if you like. And the bamboo ones, you have to reload those more regularly. You get two, two ends of these. But yeah, I love dipper pens and I haven't had any of these for a long time. So I just saw them and I just thought, yeah, let's give those a go. And then the last thing in this parcel is something I have been wanting to try. I mean, shot. Something that I've been wanting to try for quite some time. And it's actually a palette pad that's not white but grey because I do have um, palette pads. I really like using the palette pads because I don't have a sink in my room. In a sec. So yeah, so as I say, I don't have a sink in my room, as you may or may not know. And so I use a kind of bucket and a bottle of water, large bottle of water system. And then I go to the either the bathroom or the little kitchen here to, to wash out my brushes and stuff. But it's just too messy with a palette. So I started using the paper palettes um, and they're much, much easier for me. And the grey just gives you a bit of help when you're mixing tonal values. And I've never used a grey one before. Um, and so I thought I'd give it a go. And I've been meaning to try it for, gosh, a number of months now. But um, I bought the, the New Wave one. Um, never heard of New Wave before, New Wave Fine Art. And you can get them, you know, with the little cutout for your thumb if you stand and paint at an easel or something like that. So there's 50 sheets in there. And yeah, they're all sealed on sides, so they're really easy to tear off. And it's kind of like a plasticky quality on there. So I know they're not super eco, but I'm doing the best I can with the situation I'm in right now. And the, the lack of sink can be quite challenging. So let's move on to the little box. So here I have, I think I'm going to need some scissors here or a knife. Um, quite a few bits and bobs in here and it's so beautifully wrapped. I've got a little box. Let's just get everything out, shall we? Because it's all so cute. So if I put you there, that's a bit better, isn't it? Hang on a sec, let's see. Just trying to get the angle right for you. So we've got, yeah, all these little packages. There, look, boxes. And yeah, just cute little packages. So you can see why I said it feels like my birthday because they've really done such a special job wrapping it all. And um, so we've got in here. <laughs> I'm so excited to see these because look how cute are they. I'm going to mix some inks in these. That's what I've sort of bought them for. Um, I think I bought four of them and there's the lid. It's just like a really old fashioned looking ink bottle. And the shape of them is really cute. So I think they were two quid, two pounds, two English pounds each. So not too bad. And I've got four of those and then two Let's just get in here white inks so I'd run out of my white ink so I try I'm trying the daily brownie and also the kind of parcel that's not too hard to get into so far so I'm kind of enjoying that as well it's not over wrapped and then that's a manuscript um, ink. And both acrylic inks. There. So I'll unwrap the other three of those in a minute. But yeah, I absolutely love that. That's so cute. Now let's go into what's next. Uh, this one next, I think. Somebody's really wrapped this with love, haven't they? So I've decided to try 
Jackson's own acrylic paint. It's much more of a of a economic price, so it's cheaper. And I don't know the quality because I've never tried it. Um, and it's got nice screw lids. So I'll swatch all my colours um, later. But basically I've got a Rose Madder Quinacridone and an Alizarin Crimson there to try. And then... Let me tell how excited I am. Ooh. So I'd really like the full set of, I think there's 80 odd in the Caran d'Ache Neo 2s. So they're the watercolour ones. But I can't afford those yet. I'm not quite um, able to buy those yet. So what I've decided to do, look, they really have wrapped it carefully. Um, yeah, is buy some individuals in a sec to get them all in my hands so you can see. Yeah, I just bought a selection of colours that I thought would work well with my current series, my Flower Power series. And so I've got some of these that I bought years ago that are still going. And I know I really like them, but I just needed a few other colours to try as well. And they're also really nice to use in journals as well. So the next thing, let's open this one here. Now this is a, and again I've gone for Jackson's on some of my paints and I wanted a big pot of this one because I use quite a lot of French ultramarine so that's a nice big one. Now the next thing to show you are my plywood panels so I bought two, I think they're five centimetres thick so they're really chunky edges so that I can paint and play on the edges as well but it's just a like a canvas square that I've been using but obviously with a wood panel on it and those are both six by six and these were quite expensive um, so I only bought two and I'm just going to give them a go and see if I really like them it's in this one let's see Someone's really gone to town on the wrapping of this, haven't they? Oh, this one is artist tape. And I actually got the low tack one because on some of my more budget e economy journals, shall we say, with just cartridge paper, I've noticed that when I'm masking edges off and then tearing it off, it does peel some of the paper. So I've got some low tack to try. So, paint. So let's have a look then what we've got. So I've got um, some Windsor and Newton um, and these two are Jacksons. And then I've got couple more Jacksons in there and I can swatch. I've got a lemon yellow and an oxide of chromium. I've got a fallow green and a grey, Payne's grey. Then these are the more expensive ones, the golden. Um, so I've got a yellow fallow green, yellow shade fallow green and I'd like to compare it to the, the Jacksons actually. And then green gold, quinacridone magenta, and another ultramarine blue because I wanted to do a little comparison between the two makes and see um, the pigment quality and things like that and the texture. I've gone for the heavy body and everything, but I'd just like to compare the two ultramarines. And then I've got, still got some more in this box. Hang on a sec. Um, 
I don't like these lids on the golden. I've seen here, these ones have got the new lids. Um, but they did actually send me some lids last time. But these... Look at that. Wow. Yeah, these lids I haven't been getting on very well with. So I've got, yeah, cobalt blue and cobalt teal. And then the last little box of paint. You can see here I've spent most of my money on the paint. It was the paint that was really sort of urgent. So I've done the same thing um, as I've done with the ultramarine. I've bought two alizarin crimsons. Yeah, I just want to compare the golden to the jacksons because the jacksons is a lot cheaper than the golden but the golden is heavenly so as a painter I need paint so and then I've got quinacridone violet so I've got quinacridones and that one three quinacridones and then this one is a Prussian blue which I love Prussian blue so I've got quite a few blues and greens and reds really one yellow and then a grey and a pink as well. So that's the haul. Mostly paint, as you can see, and then other bits and bobs as well. And then the bits that were over there as well. So how lucky am I? Okay, I'm just gonna lay everything out and then I think I'm gonna start swatching and having a little play with them, so. And then we can see if I like everything and uh, I can tell you what I think. I'm just trying to rejig my space a bit because I don't usually paint in the Oval Office. Um, I haven't been in the in the hot weather in the summer anyway. But now the season is changing and we're turning into autumn here in the UK pretty soon. So it's much more comfortable to work over here. The light's beautiful, I've got the windows. And so I've kind of moved my office down the other end of the table. And you see, now I've had a tidy up, it actually facilitates me to have this opportunity to actually paint up here and not on the floor down there. And even though I love painting on the floor, don't get me wrong, I thought today I could get comfy up here. So I've got all my new stuff here and I'm gonna start swatching, I think, just to have a little um, play with some of the colors and see the textures and things like that. And I thought I could share my outcomes if I have any um, epiphanies or any uh, opinions about any of it which I'm sure I will have. So I think I'm gonna start with the, um, the Jackson's own make and um, yeah, try out some of the colors. See if I can mix it with a bit of matte medium as well. And see how we get on. Perhaps try our new acrylic pro acryl brush. And this Payne's gray, look at that yumminess. And this is um, Strathmore Mixed Media Paper. So I thought I'd try a couple of different papers. And this is the Caddy Watercolour. Um, try and get it to be the kind of pure colour. 
So it's a nice off black, really. This lovely texture. So far, so good. There's something really nice, isn't there, about enjoying the texture of paint without having that pressure of um, creating a masterpiece. So swatching is always good fun. So I just want to compare the Ultramarines now. So I've got the Ultramarine um, by Golden and then I've got the, um, the Jacksons one. So, and the Jacksons ones, I have to say, I'm really impressed with so far, really liking these. So let's put a bit of this on the palette and then I think I'm gonna put it underneath the Golden one. Yeah, hand on heart, I can definitely recommend these um, these paints by um, Jacksons. They're really, really nice quality. Um, they are professional quality, but they are not as expensive as the Golden Range. And I do use Liquitex as well. I really like the Liquitex. Although I find the Liquitex heavy body to be not that heavy bodied, to be fair. And the Golden are, and the Jacksons are probably a bit more like the Liquitex. So... I think these are more of a heavier body, um, so it's more about the texture. But for actual pigment and colour quality, I think that the Jacksons are doing rather good. I have to say, I really do like the quality of, of yeah, the Golden as well. I'm not dissing the Golden at all. They're absolutely gorgeous. Anyway. <laughs> So I get asked quite a lot really about how I'm managing here without a sink and in fact in my other studio in the same building we didn't have a sink either in the communal art room. So I manage with a bucket and a bottle system so I just thought I'd show you what I do. Yeah you can see I've got like a number of water jars and once sort of the third one starts to get dirty as well I um, and you can't leave your brushes you've got to deal with them. So just move this hang on a sec. I just put all my water in here. Sometimes I swap this jar for this end, but I'm just going to change them all right now. And then my dirtiest jar I'm going to take to either the toilets or the little kitchen here and, and wash those out properly. And then I've got my painty water in there, which I empty out periodically, if you like. And then to refill, I'm going to take those to rinse as well. And then I'll just refill my jars from my, from my big water bottle. So that's how I do it without a sink. So I've done some swatching and I've also um, had a go with my Caran Dash Neo Color 2s as well, just to check out the colors. So I'll show you those in a minute. And obviously I've got some other Caran Dash Neo Color 2, so I knew they were lovely quality. So it was just the colors I wanted to test out on those. And then I've just been playing with the inks and the bamboo pen um, trying both of them the whites and of course on the caddy black paper so I've just been doing like a loose um, abstracty type floral and having a little play on here the paper's lovely love the paper I think on here now I might just have a little play with the neo color twos as well because I've got I've got a white the other thing I want to do is just to wet the Neo Color 2s on my um, swatch and see what they look like once I wet them. They're really, really flexible with what you can do with them. They multitask, if you like, which is great in the world of mixed media. So I might just wet my Neo Colors with these. I think that's the only thing I haven't tried now, apart from I haven't painted on my wooden panels and I haven't tried my low tack tape. But colour-wise, I've yeah pretty much had a little play with everything now. 
Yeah, so overall, I'm really happy with everything. And I really love every single thing that I ordered. I spent a long time doing this order because obviously you're spending quite a lot of money, especially on the golden range. So I did spend a long time studying what colours I already had which ones I wanted to add to my collections and then obviously the ones I was running out of which was urgent and then things that I've wanted to try that say have been on my wish list for a little while and so yes I took my time making the order. So I think out of the inks so we've got the Dela Rowney and the manuscript acrylic inks that one and that one um, this one is performing better for me so at the moment but this one is performing really well and this is more of a writer's ink so you could actually put this in a pen I think as well I'm not sure whether it's just for dip pens or whether you could actually put it in a pen I think this is a multitasking ink so it's fine quality so you could actually put it in a fountain pen or use it in as, as I have today with my bamboo dip pen so let's get to wetting those neo colors then So obviously had a little play with materials there, which is always nice. Um, I really recommend that when you do buy new stuff, whether it's budget supplies or whether it's um, more posh type professional stuff, have a go with it straight away because then you don't feel so precious and you, you know, you get spillages and you get paint on things. Perhaps you didn't want to get paint on things and yeah, you just kind of, break things in if you like so it's really useful and I think the place to start is definitely swatching um, and using different papers and pads and things like that as well and then yeah just have a little play and without that intention of doing a masterpiece you know just literally keep loose the these are the perfect materials these Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2s to keep really loose Ooh. helicopter hang on a sec so yeah that's the um play page which is nice to use to try out the caddy paper as well and, and also obviously the white inks on the black and then here we've got the swatch pages um, and this one obviously has got the neo colors on at the bottom as well and I can compare this one's watercolor paper and this one is the Strathmore mi mixed media so this one hasn't got a tooth it's really smooth and you can see how bright those colors look on here um, and I blended a few with my finger to see how they op opaque they are as well. I'm looking at the ultramarine blues and I really can't make my mind up out of either of them. I think the, t the texture of that one is slightly heavy bodied. This is very um, liquid compared to the other colours. Obviously the quinacridones have got a different quality there where they're a little bit more translucent like this one really happy with all the colors that i've picked and i've really enjoyed sharing the process with you as well so use what you have and have a play with supplies maybe you don't play with very often if you haven't got any new supplies to play with or set yourself a challenge where you are using a limited palette just grab you know maybe three different colors and create with those a little bit like i have on here and just 
set yourself a little art challenge perhaps or a little creative challenge if you like it doesn't have to be art and painting and stuff does it but have a go with some of your craft or art supplies that you don't use very often or you're scared to open or you're scared to start and yeah do that definitely recommended and don't be judgmental on yourself about the out the outcome just play it's just a playground and it's a warm-up if you think about it like a, um, a sports warm-up you need to warm up so something like this is perfect for warming up or indeed swatching as well so thanks for keeping me company while I've been playing with my art supplies. I hope you have a really good week. Try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mwah. Bye. Please do